G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk to you about bait caster reels and how to look after them. I've had this little reel for over 20 years and I tell you what, it still runs as smooth as silk. So follow my simple tips and your reels will last your lifetime. Well here I have two bait caster reels guys. I've had these two reels well over 20 years. I've used the bigger reel up north to catch barramundi, queenfish, trevally. I've used it down in Sydney chasing tailor, salmon and bonito. I've even caught a few kingies on it. The smaller reel I've used for bass and brim and flattered over the years, but both reels have really stood the test of time and served me well. And the reason for that is I've looked after them. The easiest way to look after your bait caster reel is simple. When you get home from fishing, the first thing I do is I take the reel off my rod. I back off my drag washer, like so, taking the pressure off the washer inside. The next step is to take a damp cloth that's been soaked in fresh water. All I do is just wipe my reel over. The most important thing you should never do with bait caster reels is hose them with the hose under pressure. The reason for this is all you'll do is you'll force the sand and the grit and the salt inside the reel. And this is where most of the problems come with bait casters. So it's just a damp cloth and just wipe it over. Okay? Second step, take some light oil. Any moving part, just put a drip in. Like so. Anywhere you can get a little bit of oil, even the screw heads, will prevent corrosion and prevent the reel from seizing up. And the most important thing under the worm drive here, just get a little bit of drop of oil in there. Don't worry about it if a bit spills out. We can always wipe that up. Okay. And just give the reel a bit of a run. Don't try to get any on your line, but just any moving part. The next step is I'll take a penetrating spray and just give the reel a light spray over, even on the body, underneath. Again, try and prevent getting it on the line. A little bit won't hurt, it'll, uh, it'll evaporate. Now, once you finish with the oil and the spray, my next step is to take a piece of paper towel and just wipe your reel all over, picking up the excess oil and it'll bring your reel up really well, giving it a nice polished finish. Like for a 20 year old reel, I tell you what, she comes up good every time I do this. There we have it. Once you've done that guys, put your reel in a safe dry place. And I tell you what, follow my tips and your bait casters will last you a lifetime. Well there you have it guys, my simple tips on looking after your bait caster reels. Too simple and they'll last you a lifetime. Now remember to tune in every Friday for The Hook and the Cook and remember to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, cheers.